Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here for the Wrestling Mayhem Show at WrestlingMayhemShow.com uh, with another Mayhem Minute, and it's so much controversy this week. It seems like we haven't gone a week without uh, something new coming to light with WWE, but for a company that big, I guess this is kind of the way things are. Uh, the latest news, of course, there were rumors going around about Bill DeMott, the former Hugh Morris of uh, WCW, who is now a pretty significant trainer down there with uh, NXT and the, uh, the WWE uh, Developmental Center and, and uh, Performance Center uh, in Orlando, uh, to my knowledge. And uh, I guess uh, there's some allegations going around from uh, somebody that was training with them, uh, bullying, neglect, stuff like that uh, going on down there. Um to the point where there's been some uh, responses. Chris Jericho, as Eamon fills me in, because apparently the tweet may have been deleted, uh, basically saying that uh, you know people complaining about Bill should suck it up because maybe they're they aren't cut out for this business, and said that training with Gary Hart was much worse. Um, I could believe that. I mean, we talk about the stuff. They talk about the dungeon and how people get stretched and and just kind of torn apart down there. And uh, and then other responses like this one from EC3 Ethan Carter. Um, um, over in TNA, uh, somebody who interacts with us actually a lot on the uh, Mayhem Show Twitter account, uh, he says, I love and sacrifice for pro wrestling. A heart can stretch me any day. A know-nothing dipshit slapping me when I'm concussed is different, which apparently is one of the allegations. Um, and that's that's where that's where I'm at with this. You know, Not knowing the full extent or the confirmation of any of these al- al- allegations, which according to uh, this Reddit post with the interview with uh, former WWE, NXT superstar Judas Devlin um, that you can find out there. Uh, you know, he allegates uh, negligence, bullying, inappropriate remarks, reference to sexual orientation, favoritism, and politics in a WWE developmental. Um, also, his injury is being misdiagnosed by WWE medical staff by, again, you know, uh, uh, you know, this has been an issue that came up with CM Punk. You know, was about the WWE's medical staff not diagnosing appropriately. Um, so, I mean, it's one thing, you know, WWE kind of uh, coming out and saying, and, and there being a, a lawsuit from the, the medical staff in, in, in name on there. And now you're seeing, you know, another one. And this is turning into a trend, and it's unfortunate. Um, these guys need to be taken care of. That definitely needs to be taken into account. Um Things like, you know, supp- you know, supposedly being slapped in the head when you have a concussion, that's... I think uncalled for um, and general bullying and such. I think it depends on where you're at. I, uh, I, you know, my understanding of the training process for, for professional wrestling is much to a similar uh, vein as uh, you being a drill drill sergeant you know uh it is a very abusive thing it's supposed to whip you in the shape it's supposed to make sure you're doing things right um it's supposed to be a little bit belittling right um i mean we get a little glimpse of that we you know as fans we watch like a, a tough enoughs and and a little bit of, you know like it's not total divas they just kind of flop in the ring a little bit i guess so in that representation um but that's the way it is it's like if you can't suck it up and get past this you're never gonna make it because hey it's bad out there um now, when we get into the part with, uh, you know, comments about sexual orientation, et cetera, et cetera, uh, we are definitely in a different uh, time. Um, and, you know, especially when, you know, um, you know, that's a topic in general, especially other people in the company. Uh, I want to say that this is, you know, geez. I'm on a weird spot with this, and this is a bigger issue than anything professional wrestling. Uh, I, I guess I'll boil it down to, um, you know, it's a public company. It's kind of the excuse that we, we kind of poke at WWE saying, well, you're a public company. You can't do that anymore. You can't do wrestling business as usual because you are, you have to answer to people, you know. And if you do have somebody, even at this lower level developmental state, you know, you're, they're representing your company, and those are the comments. Just like, you know, they they, they levied some issues against uh, Tensai a few years ago because he made um, some racist comments from his buddy that he was riding on the road with. Uh, the, I can't remember the guy's name, but the the Asian guy that used to come out and bow uh, with him when he first came back as Tensai. Um, you know, they have to. They absolutely have to, especially a company that that wants to appeal to women and 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 multi-nations and multi uh, uh alignments and, and everything um so uh, 
probably Bill needs to be course corrected a little bit on that uh, to say, hey, you, you can't do that anymore, which I think I agree. You can't do that anymore. As far as bullying, I think the whole wrestling development training is supposed to be a, like I say, a drill sergeant kind of kind of experience. It's supposed to be tough. You know, how many people came from the performance center and said, you know, puking in buckets, guys from football that that should be in shape. Right. Um and, uh, yeah, it, it, it's just where is the line. I think it's further when you go into training as where the line is. Um, but uh, definitely there needs to be a little bit of correction here if this is what's going on. But, again, it's all hearsay. It's just one guy saying, uh, at least at this point, that I'm aware of. So let us know what you think. What do you think about the issues with Bill DeMott? Um, should he be fired? Are we calling for the, the, the get rid of the Hugh Morris? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know on the uh, YouTube comments and also uh, at Mayhem Show on Twitter. And join us for all the conversations. There's a huge thread going on right now over at the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. So drop in there. Let us know your thoughts on that. I'll let you in if I see you guys added to that. I'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.